hey, we have this integral on the board. We have e to the ix plus e to the negative ix all over 2 dx. And I know for a lot of people, they probably already know the answer, or some people know the answer and because they recognize what this is, but, but I'm not gonna jump ahead. We're just gonna solve what we have here by the methods we know. So what I'm gonna do is pull out this two from the denominator, we'll write a one half in front, and then we're gonna split this into two integrals. So we'll have one being e to the i x dx, and then the second integral will be e to the negative i x dx. Then one common problem that people might have here is they may not know what to do with this i, but it turns out that i is just a constant value and you could treat it like it was any other number and just, you could do a U substitution or you can kind of do a U substitution in your head. So we'll do that when we integrate this, we'll integrate each of them. So we'll have e to the i x over i. And then for the second one, we'll have e to the negative i x over negative i plus c. So then rewriting this, we'll have one half e to the i x minus e to the negative i x all over i. Just bring down our plus c. And then we'll just get this two in here, multiplying that in. And we're going to have e to the i x minus e to the negative i x over two i plus c. And that's our answer. But I think this is the point where we need to identify what we're looking at here. So it turns out that this thing is actually going to be sine of x, and this thing right here is cosine of x. And so all we did was we just multiplied cosine and we got back sine. And so the only real trick was that it was a little unfamiliar because using Euler's formula, we use that definition of sine and cosine to do the integration. So briefly, I'll show how we get from Euler's formula to this definition of sine and cosine, but I'm just going to clean up the board. So Euler's formula tells us that e to the i x equals cosine x plus i sine of x. And so of course, there's a lot more we could say about this formula, a lot of other discussion, but what I want to do is just focus on how we got to that value of sine and cosine. So let's also write down e to the i minus x. Okay, so inserting that, all you do whenever, for any value in Euler's formula, you just use the same value in the formula on the right. So we'll insert that into this formula. And we have this. And then this can be simplified because cosine is an even function. This can be just rewritten as cosine of x, because that's the definition of an even function. But Whoops. Sine is an odd function, so that allows us to bring the negative sign out. And so we'll have cosine x, i sine of x. And this is all gonna be the same as this, or e to the minus i x. But with, with just these two formulas here, we can do some very simple algebra and solve for sine x and cosine x. So first, let's add these two equations together you'll notice that the sine, this piece, the sine piece cancels and we have a two cos x and this is gonna equal e i x plus e negative i x. And then dividing by two, we get our, this was our original integral. Okay, so we get back to, this is what we have for cosine of x. Then in order to find the sine value, all we need to do is subtract both these equations, but right because then cosine is going to cancel out. So if we subtracted those, sorry, this is a little messy, but we'll subtract them down here. <laughs> so then we'll have e to the i x minus e to the negative i x. Our cosines cancel, but then the negative will turn this negative i sine x to a positive, and we're going to end up with 2 i sine x, but we want to solve for sine x, so we'll divide both sides by 2i. And that's going to give us our complex value for sine x. So this was our original integral here, and this was our result. 
I just think it's kind of amazing to do this integral in complex form and you come up with the right answer, you integrate it this way, you integrate cosine and you get sine. So.